International. I like to explain Alteria, the name itself. Three years ago, I decided to visit a local observatory, and I was looking up at the stars, thinking of a cool star name that could represent a meaning. Because if we we're going to name a company that we want to last 100 years, we got to make sure that it means something in the name itself. So what we decided to do was go through so many names of stars. I mean, I was searching all night long. I couldn't sleep for two weeks, and I found an actual star called Altair. And it's actually, come to find out after I Google searched it, it's a guiding star for the World War II fighter pilots. When they were lost at sea, they looked up in the sky to find their way. It actually, since the Babylonian times, it means eagle, or the flying eagle, or the flying one. So I thought that was really exciting because eagle represents so many different great meanings and philosophies uh, on countries all over the world. It's used as on countries' flags and, and, and their crests and their symbols. It means freedom, opportunity, success. So it's a popular star, obviously. So what happened was is I couldn't figure out a way to trademark the name Altair because it was already taken. Plus, I was looking for a .com. So I was thinking of countries and how they named themselves. And they named countries like Australia and Macedonia and Lithuania. So I was thinking if they're going to name their countries or their domain of their culture, let's add an I at the end. And that's how we got the word Altaria. So really what it means to us and to, and to everybody in the company is Altaria is the domain of the eagles or what, the, what it represents, which is freedom and an opportunity for the future. So, let's talk about our target demographic. Now, I want everybody to realize that Generation Y is our target demographic, yes, but we're doing this as an opportunity for baby boomers, which are their parents, uh, and also their older brothers and sisters, which is Generation X. So, let's talk about the Generation Y market and how the baby boomers and Generation X can cash in on it, and also uh, Generation Y. So, who is Generation Y? Generation Y is called by many the new baby boomers, or echo baby boomers, and some people call them the millennials because we witnessed the millennium. And they're the children of the baby boomers itself. And they're born from 1977 and 1994. And they're the largest demographic in the world. They're the children of the baby boomers that started today's most direct selling companies. 84 million of them are in the United States. That's over 6 million more than their baby boomer parents. They're 50% of China's current workforce. And they're over 600 million in the Generation Y population in China. Over 500 million in India with American jobs and disposable income. They're also the biggest influencers of the baby boomer buying decisions, which is pretty incredible because if you think about it, boomers out there, when you have your sons or daughters or your cousins or your nieces or nephews that are in their 20s, think about, do you ever ask them which type of phone I should buy or how do I work this computer thing? Or, you know, I know a lot of the boomers out there, they could be tech savvy, but it's amazing how many baby boomers ask their sons and daughters at home, which should I buy when it comes to technology and music and, and the hottest and latest, greatest new things out there. So what's the media saying about Generation Y? Don't take my word for it. Don't, in fact, take our word for it. Let's look at the media and what they're saying about Generation Y. USA Today said Generation Y sits on top of the consumer food chain. Business Week from Bloomberg said 50% of China's current workforce is in Generation Y. That's huge. Now is the time for Generation Y and direct selling. That was on the front page of one of Direct Selling News' global magazine for our profession of network marketing and direct selling. Wall Street Journal said, young with tons of purchasing power, Gen Y, 82 million of them influence buying decisions and have over 200 billion and have over $200 billion spending power each year in the U.S. alone. This, and keep in mind, these were statistics many years ago. So the spending power is actually increasing, and it's increasing every year. This is what's really exciting. Reuters, one of the top financial research companies in the world, said that Generation Y is to exceed the baby boomer spending power by 2017. That's less than five years from now. That is exciting. The reason why? Baby boomers are retiring in style. And they're going to retire in style if they help their sons and daughters' generation move into the economy in a successful way. For the boomers out there, your parents in the World War II generation, they cashed in on you when you all need to be fed. They created the Gerber Baby Food Company, which fed millions of babies of your peers. Now, your sons and daughters, they're moving through the economy, they're moving through the marketplace, and the biggest demand, which we'll talk about in a little bit, is opportunity and hope. So now it's your chance to cash in 
when they do surpass the baby boomer spending power in 2017. So the current North American demographics, Generation Y is currently the largest demographic in North America and the world. Today, Generation Y has over a $200 billion annual spending power in the U.S. alone and is expected to exceed the baby boomers' spending power in 2017. And, and again, that's only less than five years from now. Right now, at this point, there's a huge opportunity for the first company in the industry to successfully launch the first long-term unisex Generation Y brand and have the first mover advantage. I believe Altaria's Generation Y brand can and will be the first in the world. Let's look at the actual facts. Let's look at the actual demographics, the population of just North America itself. Uh, let's start with the United States. If you can look here, this is statistics, by the way, from AARP and the Census Bureau. So this is the most accurate facts there is at this point in, in history. In August 2009, there were approximately 310,082,375 people in the United States. And the two largest demographics were Generation Y, and the baby boomers. Remember, baby boomers are the parents, Generation Y and Millennials are the sons and daughters. If you take the largest demographic in the world and they have offspring, more than one on average, and if the boomers listening, if you have more than one child on average, or think of a friend that does, I can guarantee you that most of them have more than one child on average. What this does is it makes the generation expand. And as you can see here, Generation Y has 83 million people approximately in the United States. And that represents about 27% of the population. Baby boomers represent 78 million, which roughly represents about 25.7%. Canada, surprisingly, baby boomers are actually a higher populated group. If you look at Generation Y, their demographic is 8 million people in Canada, and the baby boomers are a little bit more. 9 million people in the baby boomer population. Well, let's combine those two countries together and see what we come up with for North America. So most companies go to the left here. Most network marketing and traditional companies, they're marketing towards the baby boomers. Most companies say baby boomers is where it's at. And they are. It is. That demographic has provided more sales for more Fortune 500 companies than any other demographic yet to come until now. So if you look to the left here, this represents a graph of the current baby boomer brand. That targets right now a total North American population with Canada and the U.S. combined of 87,528,137 people. If you represent the chart here, that's the available market share without a Generation Y program. And it still targets the same amount of people, 87 million. So most companies go to that demographic on the left and they have a tremendous amount of success. The baby boomers still control most of the money in the United States today, and they, and they still will until 2017, because they're going to retire in style, remember that, if they position themselves right. If you look to the right, this is what companies are starting to grasp. If you look to the right, this is what companies are starting to understand and starting to market towards. If you look at this bubble here, that represents a new Generation Y brand. That targets a total North American population of 92 million. This is the available market share with the Generation Y program. It's a lot bigger, as you can see to comparison of the left. The targeted population, again, is 92 million in North America. So what happens if we combine both of these demographics together? The parents, as you can see on the left, you can see there there's a picture of a, of a father figure. And to the right, you can see there's a picture of a Generation Y young woman. What happens if we combine these two demographics together with two brands in one company, or a brand itself, like we've done here at Altaria, which combines one product for all demographic, for all ages? You get a 106% available market share increase. This is incredible. So just by opening up the right column here, you've actually increased your available market share by 106%. Now, most companies in network marketing and direct sales, they're all about anti-aging, weight loss, and how to stay younger, that's great. But they don't realize that there's a whole other demographic out there that's directly one degree of separation away from your target demographic already. And do you know that these baby boomer parents care more about their sons and daughters than they do about the products themselves? Here's the major example. The largest direct selling network marketing company in the world, that's right, you guessed it, it's Avon. 
With revenues approaching $12 million per year and over 5 million distributors worldwide, it operates in over 137 countries and created the most successful direct selling brand name launch in history. Now that's a clue. So Avon, the year is 2004. The annual sales at the beginning of 2004 was $5 billion. The annual sales at the end of 2004 was $8 billion. Wait a minute. It took over 100 years to reach $5 billion in sales with Avon. 100 years. Now today, Avon's a 125-year-old company, and so in 2004, they reached $5 billion in annual sales, and they were stagnant. They couldn't figure out why their $5 billion number was staying at $5 billion. They were just couldn't produce any more sales. It was called the long tail effect. They just had a stable business. So why all of a sudden, at the end of 2004, did they have $8 billion? It only took one year to reach that number. That's a $3 billion increase in sales in just one year. So what happened? Why? The MARC program. This was the first revolutionary Generation Y program created in the direct selling and now marketing industry for all the daughters. What I mean by the daughters is you have 5 million mothers all around the world representing Avon, but remember, the mothers had daughters and the fathers had sons, and those are Generation Y. So, the company experienced a lot of feedback from the mothers. The mothers were saying, my daughters, I try to give them my skincare, they just don't want to use it. They won't listen to me, they won't join the company. So, Avon had to think, how do we create a brand that doesn't change Avon, but creates another brand that helps Avon reach that demographic? So what they did is they brought 70 focus groups together, and they asked them, they asked the daughters, what do you want to see? What branding do you want to have on the packaging? So they took the same great products and made new great products and created a new brand and called it Mark by Avon, and that is what created, ladies and gentlemen, $3 billion in sales in one year. The, and you tell me one company in this industry, in this profession, who's launched with a $3 billion in sales their first year in a product, that is powerful. So how do we model the most successful direct selling company in the world? And success leaves tracks, remember that. Success leaves tracks. So if we're gonna follow anybody, why don't we follow the biggest company in the profession? Who is responsible for this big shift, this big $3 billion launch? Well, her name was Andrea Young, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Avon Products. She's also leading the board of Apple Computers. Now this was interesting because Steve Jobs was so impressed, Steve Jobs actually picked up the phone and called her and said, hey Andrea, I'm so impressed with the Mark program, can you help me lead the board of Apple Computers? So still today, Andrea is a co-lead of Apple Computers. This was an article that just got released about Young's innovations. To become the global powerhouse that Young envisioned, Avon needed to entice younger customers while still retaining middle-aged buyers. One of the only two women CEOs of a Fortune 500 company, highest ranking Chinese American in corporate America, and Avon's first female CEO, it's, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? The, the company for women, and she's the first woman CEO? Interesting and the longest lasting female CEO in the Fortune 500. After three years at the company's helm, Young managed to maintain core customers and sales reps while reaching out to a new generation of buyers and sellers. Young today leads the world's largest direct selling companies with an operation of sales over $11 billion and a presence in over 137 countries. So, CNNMoney.com and Fortune Magazine said that Apple, valued at more than $153 billion, overtook Google on the strength of the iPhone and the iPad. I was recently flying over to Hong Kong and I was sitting in business class next to a young man and he was, looked like a businessman. He was looking over at me and I was looking over at him and he said, Dakota, um, why are you uh, in a business class seat? And I was looking at him thinking the same thing. How can a, two young people afford a business class seat internationally? And uh, I said, well, that's, uh, he's like, what do you do? And I said, I'm actually writing a book on uh, Generation Y and, and how demographical change and how that affects the world, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, that's interesting because I work for a boss that is very strict on making sure we market towards Generation Y. And I said, well, you're Generation Y. Who's, who's your boss? He says, Steve Jobs. I said, really? He said, 
Well, Dakota, it's interesting because you're talking about Generation Y and you realize that I'm actually creating a product here at Apple that is going to be revolutionary for Generation Y. And I said, which product are you working on? You created He said, the iPhone. I said, can you tell me about it? This is before the first one came out. He said, no, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's a secret. So anyways, one thing he said I can, I can tell you is he only has 12 individuals in Generation Y creating the iPhone. He won't let any baby boomer in that room to help design the iPhone. But one thing he did say is that he has baby boomers running the company because they have the experience of operations. But he has Generation Y creating new products. Why? Because Generation Y was born with a different paradigm. Their sponge soaked up different juice, so to speak. I ask baby boomers all the time, was it any different when you were being raised than it is for your son and daughter today? And they say every time, of course it was. Our generation was raised with a cell phone in our hands. Baby boomers generation was raised with a radio or a black and white TV uh, in the living room. So it's interesting, but baby boomers are also inventors of this new technology. Steve Jobs was a baby boomer, so we've got to give the baby boomers the credit, but their sons and daughters are now virtual natives. They grew up in it, and baby boomers are actually the immigrants. You guys discover the technology, but you also immigrated to the technology where we were born in it. This is what I call a paradigm delegation. So what you do is you have Generation Y people in a perfect balance with baby boomers, which is their sons and daughters anyway, so they already have a relationship. And you mold them together to create one stable 21st century company. Hence Apple. And look at the success they've had with the Generation Y design product for the iPhone and the iPad. Their mom and their dad bought the same product that they bought themselves. That's what goes back to what I said before. Generation Y dictates the baby boomer buying decisions. Apple becomes the world's most valuable brand with products targeted to Generation Y. A CEO of a multi-level marketing company, Andrew Young, is now the primary leader of the board of directors of Apple Computers, the most valuable brand in the world. Now that's what I call a clue. How is a CEO and a chairman of a multi-level network marketing company leading the world's most valuable brand? That's a clue to where the world is headed. So, how do we create a Generation Y brand program by modeling the most successful one in the world? And how do we make it bigger? Avon created the MARC program, and that was targeting, as you can see here, female Generation Y marketers. Well, here at Alteria, we are creating brands such as Neon Energy Drink that targets a unisex market. If you can see here, it targets female Generation Y, and it also targets male Generation Y individuals because energy drinks are unisex in general. So what does that do? It creates an immediate 100% available market share increase with a unisex brand versus Avon. Introducing Neon Energy Drink, the first unisex multi-generational brand in network marketing history by Alteria International, the company of the 21st century. So what is the largest demand in the world? Remember, Business 101 is supply and demand. Population dictates the demand on every level. The larger the population, the larger amount of products and services are demanded. For example, if you have a large group of people and they're all in the desert, what are they going to need? What are they going to want? You guessed it, it's water. So if you have the largest demographic in the, in the country and in the world, which is Generation Y, what do they need more than ever in this economy? Six and a half million young people just moved back home with their parents in college loan debt and they can't find a way to get a job or get into a job that they didn't dream of when they signed the application form to the university of their choice. What do they need more than ever? Think about it. That's right, it's opportunity and hope. Right now, here at Alteria, we want to join forces with Baby Boomers and Generation X, reach out our hands to this demographic and say, let's move you into the future, let's provide a vehicle for your success. And I'm telling you, this is how the baby boomers and Generation X are listening to this right now. are going to cash in on this big bubble, this big movement. Um, and we're creating this movement here at Alteria International. So what is the largest current demand? The largest demand in the world is supplying Generation Y with an innovative network marketing and direct selling company. And Alteria plans to meet that demand. And we will meet that demand. So what's the fastest growing and most innovative segment in the beverage industry? Global energy drinks market are expected to reach 52 billion by the year 2016. This was by a study by Markets and Markets 
in Gradia News and Analytics, October 21st, 2011, at 6.20 p.m., just in case you know. <laughs> More than 40 billion in sales of sports and energy drinks were recorded in 2010. The global sports and energy drink market volume is estimated to grow at a CAGR of more than 3% every year. The value of the market was more than $38 billion, is expected to cross the $52 billion mark by 2016. The largest share was contributed by North America with over 37%. Us Americans, we love our energy drinks. On March 22, 2012, Starbucks enters the energy drink market. The $8 billion energy drink category is up 16% from last year in the North America, which explains why companies are hustling to get more energy drink products in the marketplace. For example, Red Bull recently announced plans for a zero-calorie energy drink. Starbucks, a coffee company, is now creating an energy drink. That is what I call a clue. A prediction of a trend that's exploding worldwide. The direct selling news article that I was talking about before was labeled the big shift, and that's all about Generation Y. For the last 10 years, my passion is about studying Generation Y, network marketing, and direct selling, and teaching others on how to attract them in their organizations and in their companies. What Direct Selling News said, seismic shifts among the generation segments are already in motion. For baby boomers born from 1946 to 1964, their consumer focus will be diverted towards whatever makes them comfortable as they age. The volume of their consumption will decrease significantly as well. They simply won't need as much, and their numbers will continue to decline in the coming years. Millennials, born about 1980 to 1994, on the other hand, are set to redefine consumerism. They want quality, they want it on their own terms, and they don't like to wait in line to get it. If Direct Selling News, the largest magazine in our profession, is saying this, this is a fact and trend we cannot deny. Here's my Generation Y golden rule. If you're going to market any product to a Generation Y person or individual, first it has to look good, then it has to smell or taste good, then it has to feel good, and it has to meet luxury low brand standards. Now, let's go back to that. Now, if a baby boomer would say, hey, if it smells good, if it tastes good, it, you know, it doesn't really matter. But if it makes me feel good, I'll drink it. <laughs> but a Generation Y says, no, nah, that ain't cool enough, I'm not going to drink it. Ah, it's not cool enough, I'm not going to post it on my Facebook page. But if it's cool enough, if it tastes good, and it makes them feel good, and it meets luxury and low brand standards, then they're going to post it on their Facebook and they're going to share it with everyone on their social networks. And Generation Y are natural social networkers. So if you want someone to sign up in your organization and actually network, you have to first create a product for it. How do we cultivate the next generation of direct sellers? Empowering millennials via technology, social purpose, and opportunities for young men and women is the key to our industry's success. Here at Altaria, we have a dynamic product, and it does give you a really good feeling. Welcome to Neon Energy Drink, the premium liquid element. Neon Energy Drink, when an in-demand product is paired with a powerful yet simple business model, the result is energy for everyone. Safe glycemic low levels, low calorie, it has a very delicious tropical fruit flavor, and it's very refreshing and light to taste. This is the dynamic looking new shipper boxes that we've created here at Altaria for our packaging. Most companies, they ship a box to the front door that's boring, brown, and downright ugly. Another innovation here at Altaria International is we partnered up with Money Network, a company that is owned by First Data, which is a subsidiary of Bank of America. So Bank of America's companies have partnered up with us to make sure every one of our distributors gets a custom debit card that we can pay seamlessly, and also they're giving it to our distributors for free. Here's our mission. Here at Altaria, we want to help millions of adults succeed in the 21st century. We want to lead them with the right mentors, that's you baby boomers, supply them with the great and healthy products, attract them with brands they love, train them to be ethical and responsible entrepreneurs, give them hope for the future, and change the world by doing so. Thank you, and get back to the person who sent you this presentation and ask them for the next step in joining Altaria and join the movement with all of us.